So that's where I got with it. It's a bit of a tricky one, this one. Um, let's have a look at the tab. So we're in open D for this, so D, A, D, F sharp, A, and D. And to start this introduction, we're going to be sliding up to the 12th fret on the first and second string. So, vibrato there. And you'll notice I'm blocking out the other strings with my thumb there, so... And then we're going to go from 10 to 12 and back to 10 again, so... Now on the record it kind of sounds like he's going up um, twice, so... But it's quite quick, so... Again, muting up the strings with my thumb there. And then there's a little figure that goes down from second, third, and fourth string. So, again, to 11, back to the third string. And then as I do that, I'm moving through the strings. I'm actually muting out what's not required. So, you can see here my third finger is muting out the first string when I play the second string and my first and second string are muting out the lower string so as I play that third string my second finger is landing on the second string and then likewise there so and then we play the 12th fret of the G string which is now an F sharp so again and then we go into the shuffle. The shuffle starts at the end of bar five here with a lower string rake and two more to follow. Um, you'll notice I'm palm muting here just to sort of cut back on the resonance. So, and we are going to do that just a single muted note before striking the second string open. So, and then we're going to come, that's the fifth fret of the fourth string on the slide, third, and a pull off. So, then we're going to play the sixth string and then octave with the second string here. So that's the first part. So that takes us to bar nine where we are going to be very gently playing the fifth fret. I'm not going to get charge in because it's actually not really what we're after. We just want to play that fifth fret of the second string, so... If it's any more... So, we just need to sort of just try and caress that second string there. And from there, we're going to be this type of thing here, just some sort of eighth note muting pattern. And um, the trick here is that I found quite uh, difficult to do was uh, getting the sound. Um, without sort of stopping this ringing out. Uh, I'm not quite sure how Kuda did this, but um, you know, that gets you close enough, so. Or sometimes I use my finger as well. And coming out of that, uh, we are five, so it's... Pull off again. And then we slide up to the third on the sixth string. And then we're playing the, see that fourth finger there? I'm actually muting out the other ones. 
So, and we are going to be, again, this sort of muted strumming, but this is quarter notes now. And I'm not quite sure where it is. There's definitely a harmonic that comes through. It could be seven, or I think it's five. And anyway, it's somewhere. There is some um, harmonics that come through, um, all through this. This is why it's very hard to play the thing the same way twice because you've got all these different harmonics that come through. I'm sure even on the record, if he had taken another take, yeah, it would have sounded quite different. So um, I'm playing it, I think, on the fifth. So, and just two. So it's actually three, sorry. Then we're going to be playing that there. So we can't go too uh, enthusiastically into these muting because we've got to have our fingers in the right place because to play that four, I'm sort of still muting out other things as well, which I found quite tricky. But uh, so it's... I'm just playing five, but these lower strings are, uh, are coming in as well, which is fine. So... Then there's going to be an open second string. And then fourth on the fourth string. Now you could play that with slide, but I just found it a bit hard to get it to speed with the slides because it's going to be like sort of. Yes, it's a little bit tricky to get to speed with the slide. So you might like to just play um, here. And then we're coming back here. So this is this little pattern at bar 11 is a nice one to practice actually because um, this is sort of it's got that rhythm of the piece and something like that um, just to get it under the fingers. And then we're coming back to this is bar 12, and, and this is back to eighth note muted sort of sound. So it's, um, and we're going to play that four times. So, and then we're coming up to, so it's, I think I played, it could be going up to the G actually. But the general idea is and then we're going to be playing the third string again and from that it's back to the quarter note so we're at um bar 14 um i hope this is making some sense we're just trying to find our way here so bar 14 we're back to the quarter note which is come back to which is again three on the fourth string pulling off and we're on bar 16 here and that takes us to the end of the shuffle this is a um, it's a bit of a tricky one I found and I still don't quite feel like I've got it but um, getting closer and closer and it is enjoyable to work with so um, Good luck with this little part. The next part is the call and response. So we're imagining Steve Vai's guitar in our head, which is quite easy to do if you've seen the movie as many times as I have. And if you're watching this, you probably can do the same. So um, the first one is going up to the 12th fret on the second string. Vibrato. And then sort of pulling off and getting some open string action there. Um, second um, little lick is. The uh, first string. And I'm just looking where that's going. So it's 12 to 10 to 12. And then we're going. So again, 
it's going uh, second string we're starting here you'll notice that my uh, my right hand is sort of muting out the strings as I play them just so to keep it uh, you know fairly clean <laughs> That there is quite fast coming, leaving the second to the third here, so we have to try and... And if you're like me, your third finger won't be that sort of dexterous, so it sort of takes just a little bit of practice getting that one. And then all the other strings being muted out there, so again... And then we are going to the next figure, which is... Again, so from 12 to 10. Same as before, to 12 on the third string. And then sliding up on the second string. And then we're changing strings, 10 to 12 on the first string. And then we're going to, where are we, 16. And you'll notice my thumb is starting to come unhooked. Um, normally we'd play like this with our, with our thumb anchoring behind. But um, coming up is some fairly perilous playing up above the, uh, the fretboard. So, um, beyond the fretboard in fact. So, so coming out of there, so we're... <laughs> 16. The next one is we don't go back to the second our uh, third string. We're just playing 10 to 12 on the second string and then so it's that's what it is actually. Yeah. So 10 to 12 second string and then we're playing 12 on the first string and then we're going to be playing first and second string playing the second and third Ah, uh, sorry. First and second finger playing the second and third string, if you can see that there. But we're actually going to be... going to 15. So both of them. Uh, so again... And then I'm going to mute the first string. And then we're going to be coming up to... Where is that? 15, 17, 19. So again... And then to, where is that? That would be 24, I guess. Okay, so again. And so my, my thumb is all, all uh, adrift here and we're coming pretty close to the neck pickup here. But you basically just have to do this by ear because it's beyond the frets and that is that one, and then we're plan going to play one single note, which is 27, I think. Not yet. Just get a... <laughs> it doesn't quite hit it in, in the soundtrack, so he's... In fact, some of these uh, little licks have that at the end as well. So, so let's just go from that uh, second to last one. And then... Now this last part, um, for the life of me I can't exactly say how he plays this. Um, in fact it almost sounds like he, you know, from what I know of Raikuda's playing, that he actually, I don't know, it was sped up, he maybe played at half speed or something. It just doesn't sound like his, his work, or maybe Steve Vai played this little part because with a, sort of a tally tally style guitar or with a strat you just can't play this with fingers but certainly the recording he's playing with fingers then just only playing the last part of this last figure with the slide and I just cannot do that because basically it's here but I, I can't get that <laughs> with the access I've got and my access isn't too bad um, but um, it's just a non-starter so I've got to play the whole thing with slide uh, with the recording, it's it's certainly not all slides. So um, that's where we are with that. So 
it's basically that's what we're doing there if you can see that so we're at 19 we're at 20 here third string second string then we go back to 19 on that first string so and then we're going to be sliding up to 24 again a little bit of vibrato again go up. and then so here we are this is oh dear I don't have this tabbed out so I'm having to work this out we have 15 17 19 21 22 21 22 again and we're going to slide back to 19 back to 22 there see that so we play 19 twice we're playing this is 17 on the second string 17 on the first string this is 15 on the first string so we're here and then we come back to finally the um, 12th fret so oh, sorry in fact you can actually pick this out if you prefer but I just played so it's 12 to 10 again 12 to 10 11 on the third string so again 11 12 to 10 so it's 11 10 on the second 11 on the third and then at the end there we give it some of that and the final notes are going to be the second and uh, fourth string and we let the reverb ring so that's it guys um, a little bit um, chaotic there at the end I don't have the tab but uh, I will put the tab and you'll be seeing it um, when you watch this video so uh, hope you enjoyed that and see you on the next one mm -hmm.